Okay, so this is the situation. You remember six months ago, I was living at 138 Paris Avenue, and I move out. And I move out on my own. I move, I move out of the building, not because I wanted to. I was chased out, eh? And, and... Bullied you know, out. Bullied out, really. Yeah, bullied out. And, and, uh... So I file a complaint before I move out with the Human Rights Tribunal. And... And then they... The, the landlord gets served... They read it. <clears throat> they have 35 days to respond. Remember that process? Mm -hmm. And so then they have 35 days to respond. They responded saying, no, there was no human rights violation. Real short, basically saying, no, there was no human rights violation. We met with you. They lied and they said they met with me two times. You only met with me once. Too much, eh? You put an extra time in. Yeah, no, we met with you two times. No, you only met with, met with us once. Anyway, so, <clears throat> so the point I wanted to make is, um, you know, they get served. They have 35 days to respond. They respond. And, and then I have time to reply and I reply back. Um, cause that's how the process works is that they have 35 days to respond to the complaint. And then I have time to re reply to any new issues and then after that, typically you go to mediation. Remember from the past, right? Mm -hmm. Typically then you go to mediation after this stage. Um, they refused mediation. So I said, well, what happens next? You know, I don't have a lawyer. They say, well, the next step is, is we schedule a hearing date. Mm. And I'm like, okay. So we've been waiting all this time. You know, I, I've never seen it go down this route. Usually it's mediation first. So I didn't know what to really think, you know? And uh a couple weeks or a couple weeks ago they emailed me and they said you gotta be pa basically they said you gotta be patient but soon we're gonna email we're gonna mail you, they said. They said you gotta be patient but in the future we're gonna mail you uh, notice of hearing. We're gonna mail you that in the mail. And I said okay. And I just they just emailed it to me, and I'm gonna get it in the mail. And the hearing date is uh, March the tenth, two thousand and seventeen. Just right around the corner. It's right around the corner. I Before know. Four twenty. I know. Yeah, that's four months from now. It's kind of it kind of feels weird, like like when you. When you really think about it, we're going to be going to see these people again, it sounds like. Yeah, hearing face to face. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to be talking about all oh, what happened. Yeah. Because that was really weird the way I just moved out like that. Yeah. You were bullied out. Yeah. Really, I was bullied out. Yeah. Not, um, how the way you said it. I was bullied out. Not, uh, I was bullied out. Not... Not, I, I wanted to move out on my own. You know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes I wish I still lived there. Just, not because I liked the place. But just because I, I still had access to counseling back then. You know what I mean? It's hard. Yeah. I really was robbed of, you know what I mean? I, I, I was really robbed because back then things were bad, but I still had access to a counselor once a week. I still had access to um, all these other things that made me feel more productive. You know what I mean? Yeah, because, you, you know, it's a lot different now. Yeah. Yeah. I you had a counselor. Being homeless. Yeah. Because look at those two ladies that were crying on the street late, you told me. Yeah. They got bullied too, eh? Yeah. A lot of people got bullied in that bar building. Even the guy that... She's good. Oh, she's real good. Yeah, it was horrible. That how how. Yeah, but the, but the whole building was like that. It was run like that. I find. For 
the, when the popcorn situation. That was a bully right there. No, your mom's not allowed. No, your mom is not allowed. So, you know, we're we're both gonna go. And whether we win or lose, at least we made them come, eh? I don't know what to say, eh? No, why? But it's gonna, but it's gonna cost because we couldn't, we could never get them to come to a meeting. Remember, we had one meeting instead of Kim, Andrea, or Lynette coming. They, they got some other guy to come just because they didn't want to look at me. I think they hated me that much. You know what I mean? They really oh, had, yeah. they really had a prejudice against me. They really had a bias against me. It was prejudice and biased, big time, and they wanted me out. They were happy that I got out. Oh, big time. Can't you leave sooner? Yeah. Why, 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 why then? She wanted to say, why not now? Yeah. When I gave my notice, it was like, why not sooner? So, I have no... You don't like it? Go! The thing about this hearing that's scary is that we're walking in and we have... We have I, no idea what's going to happen, but... No, I know. We're going to get ta tacked on. Huh. You know what I mean? Because it's... Because we have no lawyer and they do... I was just going to say that. We have nobody here that's standing right between me and you. You know what I mean? So it says all this. Maybe they're thinking that, well, we're just not going to go. We're going to get the hearing, but we're not going to go. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You're in you know, sensory now. Some, sometimes, you know what I mean? Like a guy, like a girl ch presses charges against somebody, but they don't go up in court so it's dropped. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? No, I want to go to this just for the sake to be able to talk about this experience one more time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because they think you're not gonna go. You're yeah, they there. think they think that's, that I'm not that, gonna that, go. That's in, that's in four months from now. That's in four months from now. They're saying. Yeah. You might not remember the fucking date by then. That's what they're thinking, probably. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna read all this. Just uh. So I just got this. November. Okay, today is uh. November twenty fifth. Yeah, maybe they think that I just want to post things on YouTube, and I'm good with that. Because whether I lose or not, at least I got to talk about this. Yeah, and record it. The whole hearing. Yeah, well, definitely. And, the, and, the, and to upload it onto YouTube. Duh. And to upload it onto YouTube and for me to say, well, what? It did happen. David really made those comments. Shelton did do all that. Yeah, they were, they were fine with it. Because they wanted you out. Yeah, so look at this. November 25th, 2016. Um, that's today. Yeah. Today is that date. A hearing before the Human Rights Tribunal of Ontario has been scheduled on March 10th, 2017 at 655 Bay Street, 14th floor. You know, in a way, I'm, I'm going to go to this hearing. And in my mind, I don't have a case. And it's not like Habitat Service where I'm going to get money. And it's like, well, if it's not like that, then why are you going to go? Just to talk about it. Just to see them right there in your just, face. Yeah, just to say, hey. You never, you never got that. I never got that. Just to get that. And then the decision will be made public. And it, it will be on, on Can We. Whether I win or lose, th there will be a decision. That's the best part about it. Yeah. And then, and, and the Somebody else is higher up that's going to talk to you about them about this stuff. Yeah. Because they're gonna. The story heard more too, eh? Because they're gonna say things happened, yes, but it wasn't. You, I have to prove that these things happened because of my mental health or because I was trans. Well, how come they didn't tell me this before? How come, like these issues. How come we didn't? I asked you if there was any problems. Do you know the like, thing? Remember when I said, "Can we speak about these issues?" And it's like, how come you never even told me about it then? How come you never confronted me before about these issues? These were all new allegations to me. You know what I mean? A lot of things, a lot of games they played. Yeah. So I'm going to read this. A hearing before the Human Rights Tribunal of Ontario has been scheduled on March 10th, 2017 at 655 Bay Street. Um, please read this entire notice right away. It explains what you must do before the hearing. It also explains what you must do within the next 14 days if you need to schedule the hearing. For more information or explanations of legal terms... See the HRTO's rules of procedures and the guide. You know, in a way, I'm just relieved that I'm getting the hearing. Yeah. Instead of where I never heard from them again. We never even got the hearing. 
in a way I was scared, but in a way I was getting kind of depressed. And I thought, you know, I'm never going to get this hearing. Nothing's going to happen about this. It seemed like she that. Swept under because the rug. This, it kind of felt like that, eh? Yeah, it kind of felt like, God, uh, I'm not even going to get a mediation or a hearing. And just because I don't have a lawyer like when I did with, when I sued Habitat Service, eh? Yeah. That was the big reason why. Because I didn't have a lawyer like, if I had a lawyer like when I was going after Habitat Service, it would I would have felt different. No, in a way, I'm going to go to this and I'm and, and, and I, I'm, I'm going to walk in like I know I'm losing. I know I'm going to lose. I'm gonna, in my mind, yeah. in, my, in my mind, I know I'm walking in here and I'm going to lose. But you still have to come here though, eh? You know what I mean? Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> yeah, at least, at least it's over then, you know what I mean? Because I know what the rules are and the rules say is that every, you know, every decision is made public. So I'm going to walk in there. We're going to, we're going to, me and you are going to walk in there and we're all going to see them. We're going to treat it not like a hearing. We're going to treat it like a meeting. Yeah. And just talk about what happened. A gathering. Yeah. Disclosure of documents and witnesses statements. I'm disgusted in a way, eh? Yeah. Because it brings up the memories, eh? Yeah. Well, hey, it was only six months ago. Can you imagine if it was two and a half years ago? Yeah. You got a hearing? I know. So it only was only six months ago. Because I didn't, because I didn't file the claim right, 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 right away, eh? Yeah, well, at least it was only six months ago. Imagine if you would, had to wait two and a half years for this, and you had to bring all this shit up again. And you know, I gotta be, I gotta, I gotta say this too, is like... It's like, uh, I emailed Claire a couple weeks ago. Ugh. I just, I wonder who's all going to be there now. You know what I mean? So what happened with Claire? He emailed well, she emails you? me back and she says, yeah, I'm working, uh, I'm, ba I'm back at work and I'm working at Soy. You can call me anytime. And it's like, don't you know that I have a human rights complaint against one of your friends? Aren't you upset? It, it makes me feel like they're pretending not to be upset. You know what I mean? Soy could be pretending not to be upset at me because I filed a human rights complaint against her friend. You know, yeah. you know what? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna let you know that I'm upset. I'm yeah. Pretend like I'm not upset. Yeah. Pretend like I'm not disappointed. You know well, what I'm I mean? Talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Just like when exactly, just like when uh, yeah. And uh, so anyways, it says right here, please read this entire notice right away. It explains what you must do before the hearing. It also explains what you must do within the next 14 days if you need to schedule the hearing. For more information or legal explanations of legal terms, see the HRTO's rules of procedures and the guide to preparing for the hearing before the HRTO. Available on the HRTO's website or from register's office. Disclosure of documents and witnesses' statements. Before the hearing, you must... Share documents and witness statements so that no one is taken by surprise at the hearing. That's important. What? Say it again. Who was taken by surprise? It says this. Disclosure of documents and witness statements. Before the hearing, you must share documents and witness statements so that no one is taken by surprise at the hearing. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah. Before the hearing... So that goes for me, but that goes for them too, eh? Yeah. So you know what's in front of your face. Yeah, they, you they got to, they got, I got to be warned, okay, so all those staffs are going to be there and all, all those tenants are going to be there and they're going to be saying this, this, and this? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I have so the right I, to know I, all that. I, so I, let me read all this. Okay, okay. Say it. Fuck yeah, I want to, I we're talking about this line. Can I say something about this line? Yeah. So right now for me, you're going to say that I'm going to be there and I'm going to say this stuff? Yeah, they... For instance? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go on. Before the hearing, you must share documents and witness statements so that no one is taken by surprise at the hearing. There are two sets of deadlines that are set out below. If an application does not disclose... If an applicant does not disclose and file the required materials... If an applicant does not disclose and file the required materials, the application may be dismissed. If the respondent does not file them, they may not be allowed to present evidence at the hearing. Step one, disclosure of arguable relevant documents. By December 16th, 2016, you must send the other parties a copy of all documents you have in your possession that may be relevant to the issues raised in the case. 
accept documents that are privileged. You must send the HRTRO a complete completed statement of delivery form 23 confirming that you sent the documents to the other party. Do not send the documents to the HRTO at this time. If the disclosure date has passed and you believe the other party has not disclosed documents that may be relevant, you should write to the other party asking for the documents. Mm. A party does not believe a party does not believe that a requested document should be disclosed may uh, a party that does not believe that a requested document should be disclosed may refuse then the party that wants the document disclosed can file a request for an order during proceeding i know all this form 10 asking the hrto to order disclosure and other party can respond the, H the hrto will make a decision on whether the documents need to be disclosed if you need to ask for a disclosure order you should do so you should do so as soon as possible so there is time for the HRTO to make a decision on well being on um, make a decision well before the hearing. Step two disclosure and filing a witness statements and documents. So the other deadline is January the twenty fourth, two thousand and seventeen. Um, step two disclosure and filing of witness statements and documents to be relied upon. January 24th, 2017, each party must prepare a list of the documents you intend to rely on at the hearing. They're going to be watching my YouTube video, you bitch, it was due way. Big time. You know what I mean? <laughs> These are the, yeah, a list of the documents you, you intend to, this is getting interesting now, eh? Yeah, a list of the, so basically between now and March, I have to give them, you know, all my transcripts and all that stuff. A list of the doc, yeah, a list of the documents you intend, and there's two deadlines. A list, so by January 24th, 2017, each party must agree. A list of the documents you intend to rely on at the hearing. These are the documents that you have chosen to put before the tribunal from among the documents disclosed. That's step one by parties. Copies of each of these documents for the HRTO. A witness statement setting out the intended evidence of each witness. So what are they going to do? Bring Sheldon over? You know what I mean? He probably still lives there, him. Yeah, and, and, and Winter? You know what I mean? And I'll be, I'll be able to... Anyways, and it continues and it says, The witness statement... You don't think... He, he, he still lives there. Oh, definitely still lives there. The, it's only been six, eight months ago. Exactly. The witness statement should be detailed and set out in full. The testimony that the witness will give... A, a witness statement must be filled for each witness, including an application or individual respondent. If the respondent's evidence is fully set out in the application or respondent response, the witness statement can simply confirm this. The best part is I get to see them one more time, eh? Yeah, we take a picture of them. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Without them knowing? You know what I mean? We already did, though. <laughs> At the time, you know what I mean? Yeah. But is that Kim Hayden is going to be there? I wonder, right? Well, oh, we're going to find out before we... We're going to find out because they're going to be giving their witnesses. Yeah. Everybody who's at the hearing. Yeah. You must deliver the witness statements, blah, blah, blah. Schedule in adjournments. If you cannot attend the hearing on the date scheduled, you must act within 14 days of the, of the date of... I don't think they want to go to this, really. They're hoping that their lawyer will just file their... Th you know how they get served and the lawyer has th 35 days to respond and then I reply and we go to mediation? I, th I think they're hoping that it will just be the paperwork. We don't have, we don't have the paperwork. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Actually be in the same... Yeah. Like the lawyer will just do the paperwork, but there's not going to actually be a hearing. They'll drop the claim before the hearing. They must be banking on that. They probably think that uh, you don't have it here right now. And you're floating around somewhere. Probably, eh? That yeah. would help them a lot more. And, eh? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not even here. You're Look at this. Here. You're floating around. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Look at this. And I kind of, I read this and I kind of just crumpled it up, eh? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially if I was all the way in Timbuktu. another city. Yeah, Timbuktu. So let me read this. Um, yeah, so if you need to reschedule, contact other parties, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you cannot agree on new dates within 
two weeks of this notice, the parties asking for the schedule, rescheduling was contact the HRTO in writing and blah, blah, blah. The HRTO cannot, will contact failure to attend the hearing. If you do not attend the hearing after receiving proper notice, the HRTO may proceed in your absence if you are a respondent or in inter whatever or dismiss the application as abandoned and there is this website right here and my point is is what I like about all this is because some people would say if you don't have a lawyer some people would say if you don't have a lawyer and Why are you walking into the room? Let me say it like this. Let me say it like this. Some people would say, if you don't have a lawyer and 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 you're not really confident that you're going to win and you actually you think you're going to lose, why would you go there? Well, because, because there's actually one thing. Even if I lose, at least my experiences will be documented on here. So every human rights complaint, okay. every, not, not like a settlement, but the decisions. Yeah. So we're going to go to this hearing. <laughs> we're going to go to this hearing and the hearing's public. So Brenda or anybody else, they can come and watch it with us. This hearing, when we go to in March, it's public. So anybody in the public can come and watch it. We can't tell them to get out. This is public, not private. Remember we went to the room one time? Yes, and then the other thing is, is all decisions are posted on this website. So, I don't think they really want that too, eh? No. You know what I mean? No, it will be posted on that website. Not my website, that website. That's the rules of the Human Rights Tribunal. You know, look at Brenda Everall, for example. Her complaint was on there. And she lost her human rights complaint, but it was still there. You know what I mean? Win or lose, it's still there. Yeah. You Whether can, you can file a complaint. Yeah. Or it's on there. Yeah. If you file not, yeah, not all complaints, just the decisions. Okay. So if yeah. you file a human rights complaint and it, it and it's settled and there's no decision and you settle it, then it's not going to be there. But look at Brenda Everall. She filed a human rights complaint against the church. And the case was dismissed. This is, what does it say? They, all the details and everything there? No. Yeah. Wow, eh? Yeah. All the, compl the complaint. Wow. Huh? They're not going to like that, eh? No. You know what I mean? No, where they didn't do that and they ignored you and, you know... They'll be shocked that you're there too, eh? <laughs> yeah. Well, because they can think you're floating around right now. You're not going to hear. That was eight months ago. Yeah. Yeah, all decisions that the Human Rights Tribunal makes, all the decisions are made public. And they're posted on that website. So whether I win or lose, those little details will be on there. Yeah, by that time, it's going to be a year. It's in April, May, May. Why aren't you going to go? It's going to... In April, we left. That's just gonna, those. That's going to be a year later. Just those little. It, whether I win or lose, those little little complaints that I made. That you know, like the one about how David made the comment, and then about how Sheldon. You know what I mean? Then, I have a feeling. I showed you the videos. You didn't make a comment about it. You you just wanted to slide that under the table. Yeah. You know, you called the police on us, but. You know, that's how they were at the lunchroom. Just to scare us. Yeah, just a big bully, eh? Then they came out after and opened the door? Because I feel like if we don't go to the hearing, that we were, then they can turn around and say, you were in the wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah, you made a complaint and you didn't know you were showing up. Yeah. Well, that would make them feel great in a way, eh? Yeah. Whether I win or lose, at least my, my complaint and the decision will be made public. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whether whether they dismiss it, whether I win or lose, the decision will be made public. And those small little complaints that I had, you know, like the one about how David made comments about, uh, 
you know, the, the bugs and the and native, the racism. the racism, and then how Sheldon made those comments about me. All that will be in the decision. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they're not just going to say we dismissed uh, the complaint. They're going to say what my complaint was about, too. Yeah, everything. Look at all the other ones, all the breeding there. See? A lot of stuff. <laughs> And Brenda, Brenda lost her human rights complaint, not because, Brenda lost her human rights complaint, and by reading this, I could be wrong, but by reading this, and correct me if I'm wrong, but Brenda lost her human rights complaint, not because she was treated like shit, or, or whatever, I believe the reason why she, Brenda's complaint was dismissed, it was because she couldn't prove there was a link. Oh, I'm being, I'm being treated like shit. Yes. I don't have to prove that. What I have to prove is, is I'm being treated like shit because of my religion or because I'm black. You know what I mean? You have to prove that link. I'm being treated, I'm being denied service and it's because I'm black that would be discrimination. If you're being denied service because because you're a smoker, let's say, then, you know what I mean? Or, you know, no shirt, no pants, no service rule, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't... It, there's a whole list. The, the gay, the black, the disability. You have to prove that link, they say. But anyways, I just wanted to show that to you. Because I'm quite, because eh? I'm quite shocked that I that we're actually having a hearing. It's only been a year later. Yeah. Well, the time we get there, because we left in April. If I was still living there, things would have been getting a lot worse, and I wouldn't even get be getting my hearing. Well, can you imagine if you were like you said you, right now, if the way the way things were at the end? You were worried about my physical safety, eh? Yeah. Did you know how dark it was there and all that, and you coming home? Especially the, a, a whole, imagine how hot it was in the summertime in Toronto. Yeah. Dealing with all that there. No. This I I feel like whether I win or lose my case, I want my st- on the, on I the want story. my story on this. Yeah. Big time. Whether I win or lose my case, yeah. I it's want my money. story. It's the money to get there. Yeah. To be honest with you, you do, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Just knowing that it's on the internet like that. Yeah. Fuck it. Whether, because, yeah. Yeah. Whether I win or lose my it's, case. It's more interesting when it's on the internet now. But it will be not, it's not like it will be just, just on my YouTube account. It will be there. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And just to see their fucking face again. And you're in a situation where you're relaxed now. And you got lots of, to think about compared to thinking about where, where you're living. Somebody's bothering you right now. You just yeah. got in the apartment. And you're having a lot of struggles. No, you're not having any struggles. Life's good. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not bouncing. And I'm glad. You're not bouncing in. <laughs> yeah, and and I, yeah, <laughs> and I'm I'm glad that uh, I'm getting a hearing, eh? Yeah, big time. And knowing that it goes on here too. Yeah. It's like bonus. You're paying for that fucking extra service. March 10th. What do you mean that extra service? Well, you're paying just to fucking know that. He, knowing that we're going to go meet knowing, him. Knowing that. On there, knowing that. It's like, yes, I got to get there. I got to be honest with you. If there was. If that rule didn't exist. If it wasn't public and it wasn't posted on. Let's say that rule. Can you shut the door? Let's say that rule didn't exist. Let's say it wasn't public and it wasn't posted on that website. Then it wouldn't be worth going. Right, right, right. That's what I'm saying. It's worth the money. March 10th, 2017. <laughs> wow. Too fucking much. I gotta go, go, go. Yeah, that would be too much, eh? That would be. This is gonna be worth the money, though.